You ready? You ready for this? Look at that. Nice giant chunk. Oh, I'm so glad we came uh -oh. over here. <laughs> nice. I'm looking for these flat, shiny surfaces. Nice. I really love when I find random flint like this in my pocket. So I got a whole pocket full of flint here with 15 minutes of walking around. I decided to, uh, it's fall now, it's cold, it's like 20 degrees, well it's 25 now. Last night, I got in late last night, as usual, and uh, just car camp this time, I slept in the back of the car, and it was very, very, very cold, I'm glad I had zero degree weather sleeping bags. But decided to come down and look for Flint, see what I could find along stretches here in the mountains. And I'm just going to explore around and see what I can find. I'm going to be heading west. So I was looking at this piece of limestone right here. And I glanced up the rock line here and found some pretty high quality flint. Test it. Yeah, that's pretty high quality. I'm keeping this piece. Cool. Look at all the frost. Sometimes it's hard to see it because the stuff has limestone mixed in. Here's a piece of limestone. Here's a piece of flint with limestone in it. So you can see how similar that looks. And then here you have the flint. It's just a little tiny piece. About half of this is flint. If you put side by side, you can see limestone flint limestone here's a bunch more some right here this piece right here right next to limestone that's a pretty big piece I'm gonna take that this is also flint but it's very very low quality and has a lot of flaws in it so I don't really like to use this stuff I always look for the higher quality that lower quality flint this looks really low quality I got my giant copper lead filled bopper this time very 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 low quality limestone here a little bit of flint there 
see this too. Next to it. Let's see. It's chunky, crystally. It'll work though. This is all no good, this whole section here. There's only a line of good going through it. It only goes about halfway. So, I'll show a little bit of a comparison here. I mean, this has dirt on it, but you can see the smooth surface here and here. But if you look at this, and you see that one crack going through, that would flake off compared to this gray. And you could see the lines running through it. And you could see how this would not work too well for flint napping. It would work for flint and steel, but this would be better for flint napping. You could see it's two different materials. This one's gray blue, this one's dark gray. Check this out. If you're out here and you find something that you're unsure of, the best way to test it is to take a corner off. So what I like to do is hold underneath and hit and look. If I can't tell from that, I'll take the whole corner off by hitting straight down. And I'll do that, I'll do that here. You see how this ledge is aimed like that? like that so what I'll do so what I'll do is I'll hit right in this ledge like almost straight down to test it and not flint some kind of slate or shale but that's the way I test it either that or I just snap the whole thing in half like, like that As I was doing that, I glanced up here and saw something. There it is. Good piece of flint right here. Tumbled chunk. You don't even have to flake that to tell it's flint. I'm going to leave this one though, it's tiny. Can't tell. I can't tell if this is good quality or not. Looks like no. It is okay. It's a rough flint, it's not fine grained. So I'm gonna take this piece, let me test the other side. Very rough. Looks like limestone there and Yeah. That's limestone. You can see it kind of mixed yeah. in right here. Yeah, so there might just be a little bit of flint in here. I'm so I'm not gonna take this piece of half of it as limestone. I'll just leave it. So what I'm doing here, um I'm going to check in all the creeks and head west over the mountains, through the mountains, and I'm going to be looking for uh, Onondaga chert. And that stuff smells like oil. And uh, in my previous videos, I did find a few small pieces of that, but I never found any in the mountains here. So I'm going to see where that line starts as I'm just looking around. There's gray flint right here. Look at this. I've not seen this either, so I don't know what this is. Let's see. Might just be the same stuff, I don't know. High quality. Super smooth, super glittery, glossy. If I could find a big piece of that, that'd be great. 
I mean, if there's little pieces, there's big pieces, probably just like three feet down. Underneath all this stuff washed up. I'll keep looking. So this here is a medicinal plant that's been used for thousands of years. If you know what it is, put it in the comments. And even better yet, if you know what it was used for, put it in the comments. It's a fluffy plant. Soft fluff. Woot, woot, woot. So I just quickly looked over the whole topsoil here, the top layer. Didn't, didn't kick any rocks over or dig down any, just on top. And I found two decent pieces. I don't see anything big here. So I'm going to keep heading west following the creeks. I'm going to head towards the Great Lakes. Let's see if I can find some Onondaga. Found some more of that. This actually looks like higher quality. That gray stuff. Let's see what this side looks like. Yeah. I will take that piece. That's a good piece. That's probably a good piece right next to it. I'll take those. These are perfect for uh, spear points and small knives. These will work great. It's got a little bit of limestone in it. The flint starts right here. You can see the line of where it starts. That's all limestone. So this would make a good knife, actually. That's a decent size. This is the highest quality I've found of this gray-blue stuff. So that's really exciting. I've been looking for this gray-blue stuff and uh, it's usually in small little pockets and not really able to be napped into a knife arrowhead spear point. Piece. Yeah, that's kind of a weird shape with a lot of limestone. Yeah, that's how we usually find it. It just is really chunky. This is what I usually find. But you have a big nice pocket of limestone, chunky and small. What you just found is like a nice slab of it. Here's more. That's a good arrowhead size. Spear point. Okay, that is awesome. I really love when I find random flint like this. I'll keep looking. In my pocket. So I got a whole pocket full of flint here. With 15 minutes of walking around. It only took me 15 minutes to find all that good flint. Sometimes you come to a spot like this and you don't find anything at all. But you can't find it if you don't look. So look, I'm happy I did. I was just gonna, I was just gonna leave and I looked down and she found some actually. I don't see any more. I'll keep looking though. Fossil. What is it? I think that's a fossil. I'm not sure. Yes, fossil. Some kind of worm. In the limestone. There's more up here too. Little tiny shells and stuff. More of the gray here. I'm looking for these flat, shiny surfaces. Nice. Yep. Taking that. In my pocket, there's a giant piece under this. Look at that. Mm. Oh, nice. Ugh. There's some more yeah. little, little one and some chunks. Yeah, I'm taking this. See what I could get out of it. It's an arrowhead. That's an arrowhead. And Leah carries the big rocks. There you go. 
enjoy that. Glad we came over oh. here. <laughs> nice. Oh wow. That's a keep. See, you can see this is limestone. Yep. And then that's the flint. That's that's pretty high quality. It does have some damage, but I'll be able to get lots of spear points and arrowheads out of this. Nice. You carry the big rocks. Here you go. <laughs> There you go. You got that? Muscles? <laughs> Muscles. I'm not gonna go too much further here. So I see one more piece right down there. Right at the last little little bit here. Always be careful coming down these, you don't want to twist your ankle. It's a pretty good piece. Pretty high quality. Pretty solid. I don't see many flaws, there's a bunch of limestone right here. Nice. All right. I have some acid reflux. <laughs> Coffee did it. Okay, so I'm gonna take these and I'm gonna head out and I'm gonna keep exploring and see what other different kinds of flint and chert I could find. Different colors, different material. All right. All right, so one of the problems that I've had is determining flint and high quality limestone because it looks really similar you know especially if it's wet so you just test the limestone and you can see how grainy that is so that's super super grainy compared to super super smooth and shiny this is not shiny this is dull and grainy you can nap it it will work. It's very brittle. It's very tough. This stuff is very sharp and very shiny. Here's more. So, again, it kind of looks like limestone. This might actually be Onondaga. Hold on a second. Hold on. That is not Onondaga. It looks mm. like it, though. That's what Onondaga kind of looks like, that white-gray. But this is the same flint as this. It's just weathered differently. Okay. So I can't even move two feet here. I saw this, so I was like, oh, limestone. I saw this, so I was like, oh, limestone. And my foot hit it, and it's flint. It's a big chunk of flint. It's high quality flint. I'll actually show you how high quality this is. See, it looks, it looks like junk, right? You ready? You ready for this? Surprise, mother You see what I mean? Super high quality. Okay, fossil. Right there, shells. So I have no idea on this creek here what I'm looking for, but I see a little piece of quartz in this rock. 
You see that? Just a little tiny nugget. And I have no idea, so I'm just gonna test whatever rocks look like they could possibly have something in it. Limestone. And I'm gonna test the different areas of the rock too, because that's all limestone. So this spot's gonna be difficult to determine what's what if the limestone looks like that. Keep looking. I think that's a toilet pipe. Ew. That's probably what that is. Ew. That's weird thing. What is that? That's a conglomerate. The heck? It's a weird thing. I see something that looks different. Here. Pretty big. This looks like it might be a quartzite. That's a quartzite. Keep looking. So I'm not finding a whole lot here. And um, I'm actually not too far from where I was at the other location where I found a lot. But here's limestone with flint in it. You can see a tiny bit of flint right there. All kinds of crud here. Limestone. So it's just little nodules of flint here. Um, these stones here are good grindstones and hammer stones for flint napping as well as like if you need to grind up roots or grind up other tools or grind slate. These, these cobbles will do very well. They're very rough, like sandpaper. Good for uh, survival bushcraft tools. So there's also naturally shaped stones like this. If you really need to grind something, you could find a flat rock like that and start grinding into it. Eventually it'll make a hole and then you have a mortar and pestle. And I've used these before for uh, crushing dandelion root and such. And it works really, really well. Here's another one right next to it. Would work really well, Just like that. You could also peck a hole into this with another rock. Like if you just keep going like that, and grind a hole in there. And then as you start using this, it'll work really well. a little piece of tumbled glass and put that on a necklace pretty Come up. Found a maybe right here this is a probably not actually no not if it caves in like that Just got some in there. Got a little, little tiny bit of maybe, like right there. So, not so good at this location. A nugget of something. Don't know. Quartz. And quartz. driving about an hour west now. Not much in that creek at all. Little, little tiny nuggets. That's it. Alright. To the road.